Okay, hi you guys. So I am so sleepy and tired. This is one of those nights where I just want to go to bed. Without Sean, without tying up my hair, without removing my makeup. But, of course, I'm not going to do that. I mean, that would be ridiculous. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started washing my face. I'm going to just show you guys my night routine. And then, in the morning, I'll show you my morning routine as far as face and makeup. Real minimal uh, makeup. They are? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say that? Just messing with you. <laughs> That's, okay, babe, I'm making a video. Okay. Okay. I'm not even going to edit that. That's, um, that's reality video. Okay. So this is what I use. This is just, I'm almost done with this. It's just Dove. Regular old Dove soap. I've been using it for years to clean my face. And I bathe with it too. Not this bar, but... This is just the bar that I keep on my vanity for my face only. I'm one of those people that if, if I find something that really works and I love, it's so hard for me to digress from that. Especially when it comes to my face because I have super duper sensitive skin. So if I try something new, I'll break out. So Dove works for me. It's very moisturizing. Okay, so then, usually I'll take, put my face down to the sink and just, you know, splash water up on my face. But you guys wouldn't be able to see that. There's a lot going on outside. It's thunder and lightning. The Amber Lambs is going by. Okay, um. So I might do that a couple times. That hot water feels so good on my face. Oh. Then. Oh, I don't have any. Um, let me go grab some um, cotton rounds. Hold on. Okay. So. There's regular old cotton rounds that I get from the dollar store and then witch hazel. So I just go over, just put a little on my on my thing, and then just go over my face. So whatever residue that um the soap left or didn't pick up, I just go over it with this. The witch hazel will get it for sure. And then I'll get my neck. Back of my neck. My neck gets really oily and greasy during the day. Okay. Then, if I wore mascara that day, eyeliner, which today I did. I have been lately. I just have um, in this little spray bottle just some some kind of oils. I think olive oil. Actually, I think it's just baby baby oil. Yeah, that's all it is. It's just baby oil. And my um, my makeup just glides off. My eye makeup. Flip it over and do the other eye. Yuck. It comes off really, really easy with the baby. Oh, it just glides off. Then... Just take my rag one more time so I can get that oil off. I'm so tired. 
It's only Tuesday. Oh, by the time I upload this video, it'll be Wednesday, I guess. Because I'm going to do part. In the morning, if I have time, I'll, I'll get ready on camera. I'll do my face on camera. Okay. So then... I don't have all that. I don't have that off good. So... What do I do next? Oh, I put on my moisturizer. And I'm real old school. This is just oil of Olay in the pink bottle. But it's just the dollar the dollar general version. So I just use the regular, the original oil of Olay. I know oil of Olay has new, they have extended their line, their product line. But I have always used oil of Olay as a moisturizer. So, I, and I've never used anything different. So, I don't see a need to change because it just works for me. Okay, so. Now for those dark circles, because uh, can you see those dark circles? I know you can. So not only are they, are, are they dark circles, they're kind of sunken in my eyes. And that's just age. And then I've noticed on top of my lids, they're beginning to get a little darker. And I'm starting to get a bunch of moles. Just age. So I have this somebody told me to use this and it works really good if I can get it in the camera okay it's called Ioplex 2 um, eye lift and circle reducer and when I say it works it worked for them I'm still trying it so this is the night cream that you put on at night and then this is the day cream that you put on in the morning so I sleep in this Wash my face again in the morning, obviously. And then in the morning, I put this on and let it sit on my eyes for like 10 minutes. So I put it on and then um, just do my morning routine. And then I, I wash my face. And I get my coffee made and all that kind of stuff. Peel around and then I, I, I wash it off, in, you know. After about 10 minutes in the morning, and I carefully rub it on top without getting it in my eye. And I don't use this consistently. I use, you're supposed to use it for 30 days, cons every day for 30 days. And I, I use it for like two weeks, every day for two weeks. Then I started skipping days and now I can't put two or three days together in a row using this stuff. I just keep forgetting it. But I don't know. Guess I'll just keep trying it. If you guys have any other uh, under eye cream that you've used and worked for you for under eye circles, let me know. I don't. I think that's just one of the things that I don't think it's like cellulite. It ain't going nowhere. Not easily. Okay, and that's it. Got my moisturizer on, got my night cream on. Last thing I do is put my bonnet. And I have a black one and a pink one that I usually just alternate. Whichever one I can grab without digging for it or whatever. So, and then I just jump in the shower, jump in the bed. So, oh, I do put this cream on my lips at night because my lips are discolored. They, I bite them so they're, they're turning pink on the inside and all kind of craziness going on with my lips. So, I use this um, lip hydrating conditioner from MAC. Let me see if y'all can see that. I love it. I'm almost out. 
it just makes my lips feel really really good and um helps until they won't dry out overnight and that's it so I will be back in the morning if I have time and you guys can get ready get ready with me in the a.m. Okay. Good night.